Welcome Pioneers to this quick semi satisfactory guide called left click macro. What's a left click macro? Instead of pressing the left mouse button hundreds of times to lay concrete foundations, what if you had a macro that when you held the macro button down, it did a left click every 0.05 seconds, allowing you to spawn a lot of concrete very quickly. That's what this is all about. Doesn't Smirkin know there's a mod for that? Hey, Smirkin, there's a mod for that. <laughs> uh, there's a mod for that. 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 That's right. There is a mod for that. But some people don't use mods or don't want to use mods until 1.0. So for those people, this is a really good quality of life addition. Your mouse or keyboard software is going to need some functionality of creating macros. I have a Razer Orb Weaver Chroma, and that has built-in functionality for creating macros, and that's what I'll demonstrate here. You may have something different. You may even be able to do it directly on your mouse and assign one of the buttons on your mouse to the macro. It's the same principle no matter what you use. I open the Razor Synapse program. I find the button that I want to assign the macro to. I select macro from the button assignment. I then click the plus sign to create a new macro. I give the macro a name. Something very unique like a left click macro. I click the record button. I move into the box. I click and release the left mouse button. I click stop and then I click save. Then I choose the playback option and I'm gonna choose play while assign key is pressed and then I save. Now I'm going over to the macros tab itself and I'm gonna select that macro we just created. I'm gonna change the delay time. Click the edit icon and I'm gonna change this to zero point 0 0.05 seconds delay. I'm now going to insert another delay. And then I'm going to select that second delay and move it to the bottom. Now that saves everything as I go. The purpose of having left button down delay, left button up delay is because I'm playing the macro continuously while the button's held down. So if I didn't add that delay, when the button would go up, instantly it would go down again. And that can cause some weird things going on. So you want to make it as realistic as possible to the program and the program being satisfactory, receiving the left click. And that's all there is to it. You might be wondering why I've chosen 0.05 as the delay between the click. There's certain game mechanics and animations that occur while you are placing foundations and if you do it too fast what can happen is a foundation can actually get placed while it's spinning in the air and it's now no longer in the correct orientation and now you start to have foundations going off in the wrong direction. There is actually an unusual game mechanic that exists that can be manipulated to allow you to even place foundations faster and that mechanic is if you notice right now, every time I place a foundation, the animation rotates the foundation hologram and then the next one and the next one and the next one. You can actually stop that rotation animation from occurring. All you need to do is place that foundation hologram of what you're about to build on some bare ground, not existing foundations, but bare ground and rotate the foundation so it's parallel with a cardinal direction, either north, south, east or west. Then, when you place foundations, they don't rotate. It's a very interesting thing. And once you've done that, you can then tweak that value even more because you're not having to do animation calculations when placing foundations and you could place foundations even quicker. And you'll notice I'm using the hover pack to place foundations. So you can actually 
replace foundations at a very fast rate using combination of the hover pack and the macro and the cardinal orientation of the foundations. I hope you've enjoyed this semi satisfactory video. Don't forget to check out the Satisfactory Guru website. It has a lot of articles there with tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this wonderful game that is Satisfactory. Thank you.